The World Cup was supposed to be hosted in Kokopo, Ley and Port Mosby, but that is not the case now as all the matches will be held in Port Mosby. This is due to the limited time available to fix up playing fields and stadiums in the other provinces. I'm happy to announce that we met the criteria. We have fulfilled what FIFA requires. It's all in this documented documents over here. And uh, also we have choose uh, all the games will be in Mosby, which are uh, will benefit benefits all the people of Mosby. A total of 16 countries from around the world will be coming to Port Mosby. Minister for Sports Justin Chichenko said this will also give our country international exposure. The promotion that the country will get through soccer uh, will be telecast throughout the world and throughout those 16 countries. So the exposure we get from the investment that the government's putting in with FIFA uh, is priceless. The four proposed stadiums are the National Football Stadium, Sir Hubert Murray Stadium, Sir John Guy Stadium and the Bissini Sports Complex. A document detailing FIFA stadium standards was presented to Sports Foundation CEO Peter Tsiamalili Jr. highlighting plans for the four venues and a detailed summary on how to bring them up to FIFA's minimum requirements. Proud NCD Governor Power Spakop was there as well to express his joy at the announcement of the tournament to be held in the city. Uh, I'm sure we'll be ready uh, come next year, November. Um, the people in the city, uh, I would like to call on them to support this uh, uh, decision. I hope we will uh, get the FIFA approval. I'm confident that we will get FIFA approval. And but mostly, once again, we'll rise to the occasion. We've shown it before and we will show it again. PNG's capital city has gone through major changes over the years. After hosting the 15 Pacific Games, we now look forward to the FIFA Under-20 Women's World Cup next year. Then we'll co-host the 2017 Rugby World Cup before APEC in 2018. Elijah Levent, National MTV Sports.